So today guys I thought I'd do something a little bit different on the vlog and basically show you basically what I'm going to be taking with me to um, Iceland um, for the photo tour that I'm doing there. Um, I haven't really done a What's in My Camera Bag uh, video before, so you do really enjoy watching them. So I thought it would be kind of quite interesting just for some of you maybe to see what gear I plan to take and why I'm taking it. Let's start off with the bag. Um, this is the Fjord 36. Now this is a new bag I've actually just got and it's quite similar to the F-Stop um, Ajna bag that I have. Kind of works the same principle where you have internal camera units within the bag. So it's got a bag opening um, flap here and then you can basically put a small, medium or a large um, ICU in it. So at the moment I have it kitted out with a large one I think one of the things whenever you're going off on a trip like this, it's really hard to get a balance of what to take, how much gear you're going to take. Obviously I'm going there to do a full tour, so I'm going to be teaching people and shooting some stuff for myself and I plan to do a little bit of vlogging as well if possible, so I don't know how much of that I'm going to do, so I guess I'm a little bit torn between travel and light but also making sure that I have all the gear with me. So I don't think I've completely decided that this is exactly it, but it's probably not gonna differ very much from what I have here. So let's get started with the camera body. So as many of you have known, I recently switched to Sony. So uh, this would be my main workhorse here. This is the, uh, the Sony a7R 3 And um, on it, I've got the 16 to 35 F4 lens. So it's the, just the Zeiss lens, it's not the G Master one. I did look at the G Master version of this, the 2.8 version, but it just was, well, it was expensive and it was big and heavy. And I kind of think for what I need it for, this F4 version is, is more than enough and I'm really, really happy with it so far. So yeah, that's gonna be probably what I'll be shooting with most of the time. So that's gonna be for all the landscape stuff. For many of you that have watched any of my vlogs before, you probably realise that I do tend to shoot wide a lot of the time. So the, the 16 to 35, I'll probably be shooting around the 16 mil mark. That's kind of my style, that's how I, I, I like to shoot my landscapes, is kind of get in close and go really wide. So that's, that's the, I suppose, my workhorse. So that's gonna be the main camera and the main lens. As well as that, I, I've also got the, the Sony a7 III body. So obviously this is going to be a spare body, um, this is going to be the A7R3 is probably what I'm going to be shooting with the most, but um, I'm bringing this along and uh, probably what I'll be combine, combining it with is this here and that is the, the Batis 18mm 2.8. I primarily bought this for astrophotography because it's been so cloudy here over the last while I haven't really had much of a chance to get using it. I've, I've used it a couple of times um, and it's so sharp, it is amazingly sharp. Uh, some of you probably know I'm, I'm also a wedding photographer so I've, I've actually been able to use this at weddings as well, some really big wide shots um, and I've been really impressed with how sharp it is. So that's probably going to be my go-to combo, um, this here and the S A7 III for my astrophotography when we're in Iceland. So hopefully, obviously we're going to be hopefully getting some Aurora stuff. So that is probably going to be the lens that I'm going to be be using with that, so that and the A7 III. The only other lens that I'm bringing with me is the 70 to 200 uh, f4 version. So again, I didn't go for the 2.8. Primarily, I'm only going to be using this for shooting landscapes, so probably shooting more detail shots, um, or maybe whenever I want to try and sort of like change the perspective slightly and sort of compress the scene in, this is what I'll be using. Probably also thinking for maybe shooting some waterfalls and stuff or some kind of abstract stuff, this is the lens I'm going to be using. Yeah, 7200 f4. And let me see what else is in here. So this is just a Kyoto's, Kyoto's, Kyoto's lower, just for if you have to clean lenses. The other thing then is filters. This is a low pro filter pouch. It's a filter pouch 100. And my filter range of choice is the Format High Tech uh, Firepress range. So some of you probably already know I'm an ambassador for Format High Tech. And um, this is, I use their 100mm um, Firepress system, which is this here. So really, really love this system. It's got a built-in polarizer, which is fantastic. And then with that, I use a mixture of NDs and um, ND graphics. 
grads as well. These are the Firecrest um, yeah, MD grads. So uh, yeah, plan to be using this obviously quite a bit when I'm away in Iceland. For me, a lot of people will be saying, you know, you don't really need to use filters. Sure, can you not just blend exposures, do all that sort of stuff? To be honest, I probably try and prefer to get everything right in the field. So by using filters, a lot of the time I can just get away with using one exposure and I don't have to be taking two different exposures, one for the foreground and one for the sky, and then blending them afterwards. So anything to speed up workflow when you get back into the office is it's a no-brainer as far as I'm concerned. So filters, uh, massively important. Uh, so the other stuff, so I, I guess that's probably the main camera gear and stuff that I'm going to be taking with me. The rest of the stuff in my bag, the few pouches, so this kind of holds some of my um, audio stuff for my vlogging. Um, another little pouch which has some bits and bobs, um, just a little multi-tool and a few other step-up rings and stuff for lenses for the filter system that goes in there and uh, I actually bought this as, um, I think I got this in Decathlon, it's a, they call it a 10 litre ultra compact rucksack of a thing but basically I use it as a, a cover for the camera if it's really 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 wet and um, I can just throw this over it zips closed so pretty much covers camera lens and actually part of the, the tripod head as well so um, I think these were a few quid they're pretty cheap so that has come in handy and um, obviously I'm going to Iceland in October so chances are we're going to get wet at some stage so probably we'll be using this this is just a card case for some SD cards and what else what else oh yes yeah, so they're volumeters so I've got a newer this is an MC36B um, cable release and an intervolometer so I tend to actually now really only use this if I need to use exposures over 30 seconds because a lot of the time I'll just use the the two second self timer on the the camera itself so unless I'm doing really long exposures or else hopefully the plan would be to be shooting some time lapses of the Aurora and stuff like that while we're away. So um, if I obviously plan to do that, then I'm going to need this. This was like 10 quid or something off Amazon. It's pretty cheap, but for all I use it for, it does, um, it does the job. And I have a pocket full of little Zeiss lens wipes. Um, you can buy these in like boxes of 200 or something from Amazon and um, super super handy and um, really really good for cleaning filters and that sort of stuff Let's see what's in here yeah so these here and um, I don't go anywhere without these these are little disposable shark hats um, I first got the idea for these from Alaya Locardi who had mentioned because he obviously he travels all the time that he was constantly in hotel rooms and Generally, they give you little um, complimentary shower caps and all that sort of stuff in the bathroom. So he was constantly picking these up and found they were a really good tool for um, basically putting over the top of or over the front of your filter or your lens while it's raining or if there's maybe sea spray or that sort of thing. And it means you can actually frame up and compose your shot with this in place. And then once obviously it stops raining or you get a break in the wind if there's spray coming up, then you can just pull the, um, the shower cap off take your shot and then put it back on again. So um, again, I went onto Amazon, but I think I bought hundreds of these. Um, I actually bought them by mistake. Um, I didn't think it was ordered so many, but they're pennies each. Uh, and I've got like two drawers full of them now. So um, really highly recommend um, those there. But really, I think that's pretty much all the gear I'm going to be taking. The only other thing I still haven't decided on yet is whether I'm going to take the Mavic drone. Part of me, obviously, because of, of where we're going, I'm thinking, happy days, yes, of course, I need to take the drone. Um, it is small, I can get it into the top part of the bag here, and um, it's a no-brainer. I'm just not sure, just because it's one other thing to carry. Um, and obviously, I'm gonna be trying to do some filming, so um, I've got the camera as well that I'm, I'm filming this on, and I'm gonna have some audio stuff in the Zoom One recorder. I'm not sure, I, I, I haven't seldom decided yet, so potentially that's the only thing that um, I may add to the bag and it's going to go in the top compartment here. It pretty much fits the drone controller and the spare battery on the front. And um, yeah, 
pretty much that's it guys what i'm going to do is i'm going to also drop some links to to all the all my equipment and all the gear here so if any of these are maybe interested in some of the little bits and pieces and stuff um please do check that out so yeah as i say heading off to iceland hopefully the plan is to do some vlogging and make some videos while i'm there i'm not sure how much of that i'm going to do and see when i get there because obviously um, we're going uh, as, as i'm going to need a workshop with tyler so um We'll see, we'll see how much time we have for filming and that sort of stuff. But um, yeah, thanks so much for the support as always. And um, if you do really like the video, make sure you hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. And yeah, we'll see you in the next one.